Well, it's interesting because Scaramucci is looking at this from political eyes, through a political lens, and you right. are very basic on the fact that this man had a conflict of interest that was stark, bright line between what should have happened and what did happen. You're looking at it from the legality. Uh, what type of accountability do you see down the road for someone who has this conflict of interest? Well, look, uh, this is the kind of thing that the Office of Professional Responsibility, which is the internal policeman at DOJ, can investigate. And they can recommend anything from, uh, uh, you know, disciplinary actions to suspension to, to termination. Remember, it was the, I think, the OPR office at, F, at the FBI that recommended the uh, firing of, of Andrew McKay. But mm -hmm. look, on the, security, on the security clearance issue, I think it's important for people to keep in mind that the only reason, the only reason for a government official, once they leave office, to have a security clearance maintained is if current individuals in the intelligence agency believe that they may need to consult with that individual on operations that that person was involved in when they were a government official. It's not meant to enhance the marketability of somebody as a pundit or for use, allow them to use classified information in op-eds or in, in uh, criticism of the government. That's not the reason for it. You know, before I let you go, Hans, you, you hear, um, and I, I have to be careful about how I say this because we don't know all the details yet, but, but you hear this pushback of, on one side, that person might be needed, as you're giving the example of, so why don't you leave that security clearance, which is not a right but a privilege in place. Uh, you hear Anthony Scaramucci saying, why go after that if you don't have to? Politically, let's do this in a bipartisan manner. But what I hear you saying from the legality, and you're a former DOJ employee, so it's, right. it, does, it, does it anger you that maybe the rules are not being applied the same way that they would be maybe to you? Well, in fact, you know, my access to everything, including DOJ files uh, of current law enforcement operations, was all pulled the moment I walked out the door. And I, again, I don't see any reason to maintain security clearances on former government officials unless you believe they might be needed on something going on currently. And look, if, if, if need be, when they're consulted, you can temporarily reinstate it. But certainly people like Susan Rice, who's on the list to be examined. Remember, she, for political reasons, was unmasking the identities of uh, individuals whose conversations were captured by the NSA. That was an unbelievable abuse of the intelligence uh, capabilities of the United States. Why she still has her security clearance, I don't know. Well, and, it, you know, it was uh, going after foreign uh, people that we would have been watching and Americans were unmasked and that that was an even graver issue as I understand the situation. Yes. Hans, thank you very much for being with me today. Sure thing, anytime.